Okay, this is continuation of Unit 8, um, Properties of Logarithms, Day 4. Okay, so what I was saying at the end of the last video was that if you just click log, the calculator assumes it's base 10. Okay, however, for this problem that we're doing, we have a base of 3, log, log base 3 of 10. Okay, so, wait, 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 that is the wrong thing. Okay. So I need to tell the calculator it's a di I've got a different base. So the way we do that is, and the calculators could not do this before a few years ago, alpha window, and you know, every calculator is different. This is just how the TI-84 works. Base 5, or sorry, uh, <laughs> option 5, log base. So if you click on option 5, it allows you to change the base. So I think I said the base was 3, so we can type in the base and then 10, and then press enter, and the calculator will actually do it for you, okay? Before the calculators could do that, we actually had to use the change of base formula, which is good for you to see because you need to kind of see how, what the calculator's doing. Um, and so here's the formula. Shoot. Okay. So here's the formula. And if we rewrite this as log... Um, Base, and you can choose whatever base you want here for each of those, but they have to be the same. We chose base 10 because we can easily type that into the calculator. Or we could beforehand before we the calculator could change the base. So we're just going to choose log base 10 of 10, and that's of over log base 10 of 3. So then you would go to your calculator, and you would type that in. You do log log base 10 of 10 divided by log base 10 of 3. And you'll see you get the same answer. Okay. And I could have chosen whatever base I wanted to. If I wanted to do, let's just say I did log base E, which is the natural log, natural log of 10 divided by the natural log I'm just doing the same numbers, but I'm changing, I'm making sure the base is the same. You'll see it's the same. Okay. You could also do alpha y equals and then just do this numerator divided by denominator. And then you could do the same thing, put the numerator and put the denominator and divide. Okay. So now that we've got that straightened out and the calculator does this for you, you will need a calculator for this. 2.0, what was it? 9.6 or something. Okay. For the next one, log base 5 of 89, let's just let's just do natural logs. So let's just say I did natural log of that's 89 over the natural log of five, type that into your calculator and you should get something like 2.789. I think that is all. Ah, so this is not in your notes. Okay. But I think this is important to kind of go over with you um, just real quick. So can logarithms have a negative base? The answer is no. Okay, so let's, here's why. Let's suppose that log base negative 2 of 3 exists. Okay, if you were to rewrite that using the change of base formula, you're going to see that we're going to get an undefined value. Okay, since negative numbers don't have logarithms because this is 10 log base 10, right? So 10 to the what power equals negative 2? 10 to the what power equals negative 2? If I put a a positive value in there, I'm going to get a positive answer. If I put a negative value in there, I'm going to end up getting a fraction, but it's still like, you know, 10 to the negative one is one over one over 10, it's still positive. So that answers that question. And then why don't negative numbers have logarithms? Okay. So for example, um, log base 10 of negative two, well, that means 10 to the what power equals negative two. I kind of just went over that. So there's no exponent we can raise to 10 to get a negative number. All right. Did that. Can we have a negative or a zero base for a logarithm? No. Okay. So the logs, logs are exponents. The base of a log. So for example, if I go back up here and pick, pick it, pick a problem. Um, let me go back to the previous page. Uh, here. Okay. The log base three of 10 equals 2.096. What that means is three to the exponent. This is the exponent. So logs are exponents. That's what I mean by logs or exponents. Logs or exponents. The base of a log is the base of a power function. So if you have zero to the x power, 
Okay, that's zero. Zero raised to anything is still zero. Okay, one to anything is still going to be one. Okay, well, let's say you have a negative two. Oh, no, to the one-half power, we could end up with a negative number um, under a square root, right? Because negative two to the one-half power is the same thing as the square root of negative two. Well, that's, that's a problem here. Um, so we're not dealing with imaginary numbers. Okay. So, so zero, one, and every negative number, uh, presents a potential problem, um, as the base of a power function. So we, they can't be used as bases of logarithms. So for, for that reason, we just allow positive numbers other than one, um, as the base of a logarithm. I found that to be the best explanation that I can find. So peace out.